So this is my little ham shack setup. Um, I've got uh, Flex 6300 there on the bottom. And that's being controlled by this Surface Pro that's sitting in the dock over here on the left. And that's got an external monitor, a second monitor, up here at the top. But um, I'm running N3FJP software. This is the you know, software that Scott Davis has written for all the different contests. This one is specific to the AWRL International DX contest, which is running today. And uh, I've got a few things down here to show you. This is the flex control. It's basically a big VFO knob for the flex radio, but it can also uh, work in other modes like uh, the master volume and RIT and, and RF gain and so on. So it's really handy to have. Sitting next to that is a Logikit CMOS 4 um, external keyer with four memory buttons and variable speed and a uh, Begali CW key. Um, now, why am I using this Logikit keyer? Well, I've actually got a Y cable that's allowing me to send Morse code from the N3FJP software using these uh, macros that you can see here. So I can just press function keys instead of having to use the paddle. But because of the Y cable going to this external keyer, I can also reach over and just grab the paddle and send something by hand if I want to. I can also put set up messages for those buttons and just push a button. But since I've got the software here, I can just do everything pretty much uh, in those macros without having to reach for my paddle. But it's a very, um, very versatile setup being able to send from the keyboard through the software or a pre-programmed message through the keyer or manually through the, through the paddle. Um, if you look up here, I've got the dummy load off now, so I'm connected to my antenna. You can see the contest running. This is uh, the 20 meter band. And what you're seeing there are a bunch of stations that are all working this contest. Now, by looking at the screen, you probably know why it's um, my choice to run QRP with a Flex 6300. It's just really hard to beat that giant pan adapter. And I still love my small QRP rigs like the Mountain Topper, the KX1, or the you know FT817, or the KX3, and you know the uh, the the blessings of riches I have in QRP rigs, but uh, when you're serious, it's hard to beat having this giant pen adapter and the ability to just grab the filter with your mouse and actually change the width um, of the of the passband for the signal. So it's pretty cool, and I'm gonna fire up a camera so that you can see me and record the screen and I can talk to you while I'm trying to work a few stations via QRP. I've already worked a bunch of stations, as you can see down here. Um, I've saved 20 meters to uh, do some 20 meter stuff now on screen, but I've had a lot of fun and I've, I've worked a lot of countries. If I had to guess, I'd say I've probably worked 30 countries uh, just within maybe three or four hours of operating. So it's a great day for ham radio, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so what we're about to do is I'm just going to go down to the start of the general portion of the band, 14025 of 20 meters. I'm going to start working my way up, and I'm only transmitting 5 watts, or roughly 5 watts. And we'll see how many stations we can work. And uh, hopefully quite a few people will hear us. So I'm going to unmute this speaker so that I can hear. And we'll spin the flex control to get down to 1525. Grab the first station that starts down there. Tell you what, for the for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to grab some of the stronger stations. I'm assuming that they're strong to me that they can be able to hear me better. So, rather than have you watch me make a video of having to repeat myself and and uh, fight a pile up or whatever, I'm just going to kind of work some of the stronger stations for you. See if he hears me. Let's try him again. I'm pressing F2 to run this macro. 
It just sends my call sign. Got him. He's sending a kilowatt. I'm sending five watts. It's that easy. We'll move on to the next station. PJ4X, then Bonner. Let's see if he can get my QRP right here. He's running the kilowatt. So, I appreciate people that have amplifiers and that and that use them um, for a contest like this. Maybe it makes total sense to run with an amplifier. But I sure do enjoy making contacts with a very little power, though. Well, there's a pileup going on here. This guy's running 100 watts. After he gives his call sign again, we'll try to put him in the log and see if he's a duplicate. And if not, we'll, we'll work him. Sometimes people in a contest, when they've got a lot of stations calling, they just move from station to station without giving their call sign again. So I have no idea who this guy is. And he's, he's working a number of stations without giving his call sign, you know, which is fine for the stations that have been sitting there, but I'm sitting here waiting to see if he's a dupe. All I know so far is he's running 100 watts. Well, I feel like I'm wasting your time, even though I can edit this later. Still like to just get a few of these and move on. Let's try this guy. He's running a kilowatt. Cape Verde. I didn't catch the rest of his call. D4C? No, oh, I've worked in before on another band. Let's see if I can get him QRP. Now this guy is off the coast of Africa, Cape, Cape Verde. Here we go. hearing somebody else. I'm going to get this guy. Come on. Oh, man. Okay. 
Got him. Took a while. Whew, that's a good feeling. I really enjoy this. And when I can work a station that's, I don't know how far away that guy is, I'll have to look it up, but 5,000 miles away, four or 5,000 miles away on five watts and he's using a kilowatt, I just have a feeling of accomplishment. See who this guy is. I think it's V2BM. Oh yeah, I worked him before on another band. He's running a kilowatt. There's the Caribbean. He's running the kilowatt. Sometimes I think people just send too fast. I mean, this guy, that's probably 40 words a minute. And it takes me, you know, a while to copy a call sign, send it 40 words a minute. I wonder if people, if you didn't slow down to like 25 words a minute, if you wouldn't be a little more productive. Because he's calling CQ while some people are sitting at home trying to figure out what the heck his call sign is. Let's see, Let's see who this guy is. NP3A, I worked him earlier. I oh, hear somebody else in there. I didn't get his power. Okay. He's sending nine nine for power. I'm not sure what that means. Unlikely he's actually running 99 watts, but maybe some kind of shorthand that I don't understand. Maybe one of the comments in the blog will help me figure out what that means exactly. Well, I'm going to end this so you don't have to just watch an endless string of me doing this. But um, this is fun. I mean, I'm not a contester by any means, and that's probably obvious as you watch me here. But um, I do enjoy making contacts, and the N3FJP software makes it really cool to log and, uh, and uh, keep track of duplicates. Uh, the macro capability, uh, I should have told you earlier that uh, I've got it set up. If I go here to the, uh, to the settings, I'm not sure if this camera is going to be able to see that very well, but uh, if I go down to settings and I look at how the rig control is set up, you'll see that I've actually, I'm actually pulling the rig using the Flex Radio COM5 COM port uh, to get the information from the Flex Radio so that it knows what frequency it's on. And if I go to transmit CW setup, you'll see that I'm using a COM port here that's setting the DTR pin high uh, when it's time to transmit Morse code. And I've got a few macros set up, but I've actually got a rig blaster that you can't see that's behind the thing, a little rig blaster plug and play. 
that I'm using the CW output of that. It's the same thing as that little CW circuit that I built, but it's in a box and it's already there and I've already got it. So that's what I'm using for that. Anyway, um, I, some things I hope you take away from this. Um, that contesting is not evil, that it's kind of fun to help the guys out by giving them some contacts, even if you're not in the contest yourself or, or planning on being competitive. Um, N3FJP software rocks makes it really easy for you to send Morse code and do the logging from inside the software. Uh, Flex radios rock. Uh, the Smart SDR software is nothing short of amazing. I didn't even show you all the cool stuff that it could do, but at least you do see that I've got a huge pan adapter and can easily zero in and, uh, and see what's going on. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.